A to Z Sports. We talked about them many times on this channel. Um, I somewhat like their predictions. Usually, I think they have very realistic predictions. Sometimes they get a little crazy. I mean, most NFL sports analysts slash sports networks do. With that being said, they have the way too early NFL awards predictions. And to be honest, other than MVP, which I still think is a popularity contest in every way possible, I refuse to say otherwise, um, for the most part, most awards are somewhat reasonable, like actually reasonable. Like, for example, last year, Joe Flacco won Comeback Player of the Year. Realistically speaking, I know a lot of people wanted it to be DeMar Hamlin, but reality-wise, it was Joe Flacco. The guy went from his couch to, you know, an actual playoff, almost playoff-winning quarterback. But the fact he threw more touchdowns in that game than he threw um, for the uh, Texans than he threw for his own team. Nonetheless, though... For the most part, most awards, I think, are reasonable. Just MVP ends up becoming a popularity contest, and I, I just can't stand that award. Anyway, with that being said, let's talk about it. So, Assistant Coach of the Year. Wait, Assistant Coach of the Year is an award? I, I know Coach of the Year is an award. I know Assistant Coach of the Year is an award. Interesting. I know they do have different awards, that are sometimes like sponsored by different companies and like they'll do like FedEx, you know, um, airtime player of the year and stuff like that. So, okay. Assistant coach of the year, Ben Johnson for Detroit Lions would not shock me at all. Um, coach of the year is going to be Raheem Morris. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think there's a lot of candidates who could be coach of the year this upcoming year. Not sure if it's going to be Raheem Morris, but I really, it depends on, here's what I'll say about it, right? If you have a team, because there's a lot of teams this year, the Bears are a really great example of this, where they their um, coach could win coach of the year. If they have a really good season, are enabled to make the playoffs, and have at least somewhat of a deep run, they could easily become the coach of the year, their coach could. Um, and I think a lot of times it ends up becoming teams like that. It ends up becoming team or coaches of teams who you don't really expect to do that good or expect to make that deep of a playoff run or even make the playoffs, and then they do. So uh, Falcons are an interesting club because I feel like they have always been the last couple of years kind of middle of the pack where it's like, they make the playoffs. You're not really surprised. You don't expect them to go far. They have a very weak division, so you don't expect too much of them. Where it's kind of a lot harder, in my opinion, for a coach like that to win coach of the year. Because you're kind of in that gray area of not knowing, you know, what is going to happen and what isn't going to happen. Like, the team is pretty much set in stone how it's going to operate. Um... Comeback player of the year, Joe Burrow. I think this is almost guaranteed. There's no way this isn't almost guaranteed. I mean, you could say Nick Chubb, it's, and that's a very good argument. Nick Chubb's also on that. If somehow DeMar Hamlin wins it, I swear to I swear on everything, bro. If DeMar Hamlin somehow wins this or whatever, Joe. Um, but I think for the impact of what... Joe's going to give to the Bengals, I think he would be above DeMar Hamlin. I mean, DeMar Hamlin, above Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb's great, and I'm sure he'll come back, and I hope he has a great season. Uh, but at the end of the day, I think Joe Burrow, the impact toward the team and what he's going to accomplish being one of the best teams in the AFC and uh, taking us to a Super Bowl, I think that that above itself is going to make him the comeback player of the year. Um, so I don't know if there's many things that could beat that, personally speaking wise. Um, and I again, like I said, really highly doubt Nick Chubb's going to beat him out for that. But it, I guess it is possible. Anything is possible at the end of the day. But comeback player of the year for Joe Burrow, I think 100% is accurate. Um, defensive rookie of the year, Latu. 
I could see this happening. Um, when you look at this last NFL draft, there wasn't a defensive player taken until, what, middle 13, 14, 15? So I wouldn't be surprised, actually, if Latou got it. Uh, Latou's biggest issue in college was injuries, and that's why he dropped a little bit. So if he can stay healthy in the NFL, yeah, he could be very successful. Offensive rookie of the year, most obvious ones possible, Caleb Williams. Listen, Caleb Williams is almost a sure ballot to get this award, right? With how much hype he has behind him, with how much people are excited about him, how much people think he's going to be the best quarterback ever. He, I mean, as long as he doesn't do anything stupid, like, and I mean literally, literally stupid, like, he can do some dumb things, it'd be, he'll be fine. But, like, he just can't absolutely crap to bed. And as long as that's the case, he'll win Rookie of the Year no matter what. I think 100% he will. I mean, he could go out there, put a 9-8 record, maybe, I don't know, 26 touchdowns, 12 interceptions, 3,500 yards, and he'll win Rookie of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year, Mad Max Crosby. Again, he does not shock me. Um... Crosby is a great player. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and trash on him. He is a great player, so he definitely, there's a chance I could see, depending on uh, stats, he would deserve that award. Offensive player of the year, Tyree Kill. Again, like I said, this is the situation where I just don't think, I, I the NFL hates Joe Burrow. I, I fully believe that. So um, anytime I see awards outside of comeback player, which they can't really stop that from happening because, listen, it's comeback player and Joe came back from injury. Um, other than that, though, yeah. MVP is Jared Goff. I would love to see this. I mean, I would love to see Joe win it, but again, popularity contest. But if it isn't Joe, I wouldn't mind seeing Jared Goff win it. I think he definitely deserves it. Like, again, another kind of guy that... Seems like the NFL doesn't like as much um, and really defying the odds and, you know, showing up and playing really great football. So another guy I would not mind to win the MVP award is Jared Goff. So I guess we'll wait and see what ends up happening. But at this moment in time, it's going to be a crazy NFL season, guys. So keep in mind, next week starts off our training camp. Uh, we're going to get some crazy stuff going on and hopefully some very positive, you know, stuff coming away from training camp and kind of getting a better idea of this roster, what our weaknesses are, what's, what's important right now, and what direction we're going to head into because it's going to be an absolute crazy year and Super Bowl is right around the corner. Who day? Thank you guys watching. Peace out.